Hey, good morning, stamping friends. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I live in Mesa, Arizona, where it's been hot, hot, hot. Last night, there was a, a big storm that came through. First, it had a lot of dust, and then a lot of people got rain, and we did not. Not a stitch of rain here, and it's been months since we've had that. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, today I'm doing something a little bit different, trying to show you my smiling face this Tuesday morning as I show you a fun, um, a fun fold card using Stampin' Up's Boho Indigo product med medley. Hi Linda, thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoy the card and card samples that I'm about to show you. Hi, Nikki. How are things? Good to see you. Um, so I, uh, where do you live, Linda, that you, um, you were hot with no rain as well? Um, I w I'm originally from Nebraska, so I, I'm used to a little bit of rain. So having something dry was, um, is kind of different for us. Oh, Virginia. Mm. Awesome. Way out on the East Coast. Good morning, Adrian. Good to see you. All right, now I'm going to try something I haven't done. I'm going to switch you down to my workspace so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you might get a view of my ceiling fan um, or my ceiling, but um, just hang tight. All righty, there we go. This is uh, the card that I'm going to show you how I made it today. A fun fold. Uh, it has just um, a base and then the front where you can open it up and write inside. Uh, it's made with Stampin' Up's Boho Indigo product medley, which is found on page nine of the annual catalog. And uh, I, I think I'm drawn to this because I absolutely love the deep blue colors, the misty moonlight and the night of navy in this. And all of the products that you get with it are absolutely amazing. Good morning, Kathy. Good to see you. So I'm gonna quick just review what's in that product medley. You get a, a fun um, photopolymer stamp set with a birthday, thank you. Um, get wealth and a happy news greeting. There's that. It also comes with um, some die cuts that um, I've used. Some fun uh, Night of Navy ribbon. And this actually is one of my personal, it's um, gold. It's kind of hard to see in the the light or the lack of it. So, hey, good morning, Sarah. It also comes with a whole bunch of really fun designer series paper, but I have really, really used this. There's a refill available for $23. So there's lots of designs in this, but like I said, I have, I think I tried to use the whole package in one week. The other things that I think are really fun, and I've, I've used the last full sheet, are these embossed, very vanilla pieces. And there are also some uh, die cuts with it, flowers and leaves and um, tags. But I pretty, pretty well decimated my set uh, of that. Um, so I have the refill. The refill includes the paper, the designer series paper and the very vanilla paper and the, um, the little bag of flowers. Uh, I don't have a little bag of flowers. There's a couple bags of these little teeny flowers. You just stick them on with the glue dot. So, alrighty. So this is the card. It is a misty moonlight base that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. Then that very vanilla embossed piece is five and a quarter by four. Now, if you don't have that kit, you could use very vanilla, Stampin' Up's very vanilla uh, paper and emboss it with any embossing folder that you desire. That will work just as well. Then this flap is cut at eight and a half 
by three and a quarter. So then the designer series paper and think about all the different designs that you could use with the designer series paper and I'll show you some of those later. I, I have to say that Sarah who's on here watching had a swap card uh, that inspired me and I was looking so hard for the swap card and it must have gotten buried under my piles of things but um, it was a beautiful card and I agree with her that this this design can just use any kind of designer series paper. And then the inside very vanilla is at four by three, as is this um, four by three. Good morning, Sue from Queen Creek. Hopefully you got some rain last night. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. Sometimes it's nice to use the Stampin' Pierce mat with the photopolymer stamps. And for a while, the Stampin' Pierce mat, it actually retired and Stampin' Up! brought it back. And it's an awesome purchase for, um, for $5. So it's well worth it. So if you need that item number, let me know. Um, so I'm just going to ink up the happy birthday stamp with my, it's an awesome, I have a bunch of birthday love to you, so it's perfect. And I'm using one of the stitched, um, stitched circles. Just gonna stamp that right in the middle, letting that ink set in for just a moment. Yeah, not much rain here, just lots of wind and stuff blowing around. There we go, that's, um, Perfect and all set to go. And then I have just this little flower piece that I'm going to put on the inside. Right, just down, right down here in the corner. There. So, actually, isn't that awesome? There's just that bit of little bit of stamping, not much else. It's just a matter of getting the papers cut and putting it together. All right, so I'm going to start with my Misty Moonlight base. That's five and a half by four and a quarter. And using my Stampin' Seal Plus, I am going to put the adhesive on the back of this um, very vanilla embossed piece, which is cut at five and a quarter by four. Sometimes if you've let your Stampin' Seal rest, it might just need a little bit of rolling to get started, but I'll put some, uh, it's sicky, all right. I'll put some on the back here, and then hopefully it won't stick to the table. You will love that um, medley, Sarah. Just lots of, check my blog. I've done some other cards with that too. So then I'm just going to be sticking my flap. Remember that flap is cut at eight and a half by three and a quarter. So I'm just going to put the adhesive on the bottom piece because I, do, I don't want that whole thing um, stuck down, just that bottom flap. And sometimes um, you might wonder if I put a little bit too much adhesive on, but I like to be sure that when someone gets my cards in the mail that they're not gonna be in a million pieces when they finally arrive. So um, I am going to try to, um, I like to use my grid paper to position, um, if I use, if I line it up, then I can, um, and it's hard with my bifocals on, sometimes I can't see all that well, but if I find the square at the top and the square at the bottom, I can whoop, line that up. It's a, it sounds, it uh, should be way easier than this, but I'm a little bit, I don't want you to get my head in the camera. So there we go. I'm gonna give that just a little, a little push down there. All right, so it's done. we have the flap. And now I'll put my glasses back on. <laughs> I, I, maybe I need new glasses. So I'm going to put the adhesive on the side of the designer series paper that I'm not going to use, but this is a lovely design as well. And I will attach that to the front flap of my card. Just easy peasy like that. And then I'll bring in this piece that I've already stamped that little mini flower on. Add some adhesive to that as well. 
Um, the Stampin' Seal is new from Stampin' Up. has a really nice hold. And these um, are refillable. And the Stampin' Seal and Stampin' Seal Plus refills fit in um, the same container. So that's just a little bit of trivia there for you. And um, put that in the middle. Now you're ready to write a message. So I've already stamped on my um, stitched circle from Stampin' Up! Stitched Shapes. I know, Dawn. And this, the double, she said that the double-sided paper gives her anxiety. Um, the one that's giving me the anxiety is the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use glue dots to um, to put my circle onto the scalloped circle that I cut with uh, one of the scalloped circles. Again, that's very vanilla onto um, Misty Moonlight. This suite also uses the um, Knight of Navy, so one, another one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back, but I I don't want to put them all over because I, I only want them on my card this way. So I have to be very careful. All right, so I'm going to turn it over and I want the dimensionals on this side. So I'll um, put a few down the side and, and then hope that I put, yep, put them on the right side. <laughs> It's um, and just uh, kind of right in the middle. And there we go. And that's just how easy peasy that uh, card is. Easy goes together. And I am ready to put that in the mail for a birthday gift, a birthday card today. And it does fit in one of Stampin' Up's envelopes. Now over the weekend, I designed a set of cards using this same the same fold, fun fold. And if anybody knows the name of that fun fold, I'd love to know what the name of that is. Um, help me out. Anyway, I just love this. And once I find something that I really like, I kind of go crazy making all kinds of other, um, making other kinds of designs. Yes, Nikki, if you make something with it, I'd love to see what, um, what you make with it. So I went kind of crazy with the Banner Year stamp set. This is one that I specifically chose out of the Stampin' Up's um, August through December 220 mini catalog because it has a ton of different uses. So it has the Halloween, it has the fall, um, the Thanksgiving and Christmas, and Valentine's Day. So I thought that I could get a lot of uses out of it. So it's been my goal um, to try to make some cards with it. So I'll show those to you now. Um, the first one I did was a Halloween card using the Happy Haunting and the Boo and the um, spider web. I also used, I don't know if you can see this, I used the cobwebs um, embossing folder with Stampin' Up. So um, yes, Donna, I will put the directions and the cutting on um, later after I get the video up. So don't worry about that. Um, and I'll also have it on my blog. It's the cobwebs uh, 3D embossing folder and Stampin' Up's uh, magic in this night designer series paper. So that was um, that's a fun Halloween card for those of you who send Halloween cards. And here's the fall card. I'm gonna get my designer series paper. So um, it was hard to decide which pieces of that designer series paper to use because they're beautiful. Oh look, I forgot to put something on the inside. But um, happy fall. Fall, y'all, that also came from the Banner Year stamp set and the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper. Now, I don't know if my um, video will do this paper, this Designer Series paper, justice, but 
uh, when I opened the package, I just was ooing and eyeing. And um, so there's um, one side of that with the gold in it. And this is just um, a nice versatile piece. Now, ooh, now this is an ooh, an ooh. And that will make a nice accent for something. It's kind of busy, but it's awesome. Here's another ooh sheet. With um, Now, take a peek at those, uh, the acorns, the leaves. The, there is a Stampin' Up! 3 punch set that we will be able to punch those images out of the designer series paper. So that's pretty awesome. Look for something in the future from me with that. This is another, this is another, ooh, wow. And you'll also be able to use the punches to punch that out as well. The other side is, um, let's see. And I did use this, of course. And then, um, but the other side was gorgeous as well. So that is just absolutely, I just oohed and odd when I saw it and need to get um, some more of that ordered so I can work on using that up. All right, and last but not least, I made a holiday card using that same, that same fun fold. And um, so I used the Be Merry with the holly and the berries and the designer series paper is the heartwarming hugs from the um, mini catalog. And then I designed that inside. So um, those are the fun cards I made all with the same sketch. Um, different uh, but I was just excited to be able to use the banner year stamp set to um, to make those with so I hope you enjoyed my Stampin' Up! Facebook live today it will also be on my YouTube channel later um, be sure to visit my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com and I will have some measurements up. I hope to be back next Tuesday with another edition. If there's something that you'd like to see, um, let me know and I will try to see if I can work it into one of my Tuesday morning stamping sessions. I appreciate all of you joining me. Have an awesome day.